What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku, and this is day two of our Bahama trip. And today, earlier today, we were swimming with tiger sharks and reef sharks. Oh my gosh, we got really close and personal with those sharks. Uh, if you guys wanna see more of that footage, check out our second channel, Taku in the World. It'll be a lot more uh, detailed footage on there. Anyways, we just got to this little de deserted island. We're gonna cook a meal right here. We're gonna have a bonfire and we have some fish that we've been catching today and yesterday. And so we're gonna use all of that, utilize everything that we caught, harvested from the ocean, and we're gonna have it for dinner. Here we go, day two diving. Well, we just came out of the water. We had a nice little dive there. I didn't get it to shoot any fish. I missed a little hogfish opportunity. I think Alex got one though. Yeah, make something nice with it. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a good one, dang. Awesome. Oh, and then I just made some uh, leftovers. A little leftover um, sear mackerel, smoked sear mackerel. On top of little crackers, cream cheese. Getting some ideas. Yeah. Okay, enjoy guys. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Yeah. You got it. And doing it and doing it well. It's a barracuda. <laughs> you need that for Chef. Okay. I look out the back and I just see a fish just surface out of the water. Oh, oh there you go. <laughs> Another uh, I gotta get back to the kitchen. I'm cooking multitasking. Just making some fried rice because I got leftover rice. Um, Alex is cleaning her fish because she's scared. And then we got a fish on. Dawson's on with the fish. Let's see what this is. Another bear. Oh, it's another, another barracuda. They use that for chum at Tiger Beach to lure all of the tiger sharks in. It's like a, it looks like a type of trevetti. Yeah. 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 Well, that's just one go, right? Eh? Yeah, you can let it go. A little barracuda. Those ones tend to have ciguatera, so we uh, release most of them. Wow! <laughs> we got nonstop fish action right now. And uh, make some fried rice for a snack. We're gonna go out to an island and we're gonna have a bonfire, cook over the fire as well. All right, guys, we got some species of a jack, maybe a yellow jack or something like that. But we're going to do a little salt and sugar cure on this guy. And we're going to use him later for our watermelon salad that we're going to have on the beach. Just caught this not too long ago. And this is about 50-50 salt and sugar. A little, a little heavier on the sugar, actually. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead Finn. Wow, what a cool beach. And put your hand down underneath. And it's gonna come over top of you. Yeah. Oh, That's the thing, Ray. You did? Yeah, a little underbelly. Did it stop you? No. Look out. I'm Look, there's one right there. I'm using physics to break this big stick. The uh, camera's out of memory. <sighs> Let's 
you gonna just go to sleep there? You just gotta sit on him. Okay, you're gonna be my chair. You're gonna be my chair, Zicky. You're gonna be my chair. <laughs> We're gonna prepare three different things. We're going to have a salad. We're gonna have some potatoes. It's gonna be cooked in the fire. We'll, and we'll also have fish yeah. that's gonna be grilled over the fire as well. This fire is raging behind me. By the way guys, if you haven't seen our first day in the Bahamas, make sure to go back and check that one out from last week. Uh, we had an epic time, like incredible. And today, I got another chef with me. Chef Mike right here, right What's behind up? me. Yeah, so he's gonna be helping me out. We're gonna be cooking together to make a masterpiece outdoor meal. Okay, I got some butter, salt, a little bit of chili flakes. You didn't bring any garlic for the potatoes? Oh uh, yeah, I did. Yes. Zeke, come here. Zeke. Love the butt shot, guys. Watch out, watch out. <laughs> Good luck, Sandy. Come here. <laughs> Some mango salsa going. And this yeah. is gonna be all ready for the sunset, too. Yeah. Yo, Zeke. Move over a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> seasoning from ethical table w want to tell us about this absolutely so this is my seven sea togarashi blend so there's seven wild sea vegetables that we forage on the west coast and the east coast of canada so we're going to incorporate that into the potatoes give it a little of that uh you know canadian sea wild vegetable flavor <laughs> and then obviously with some fire incorporated in there yeah from all of the uh beautiful Driftwood that we found, this is gonna be an interesting and delicious meal. Absolutely. Love it, I know your Instagram's Ethical Table. What is it, you know, what's it all about, really? So, Ethical Table started out as restaurants, uh, farm to table restaurants. Uh -huh. And then I moved into um, a spice company. And so now we have, we grow um, a lot of our herbs, root vegetables on uh, the west coast of of Canada, Vancouver okay. Island, okay, and then Okanagan. We have two farms that we use, and yeah. then we have a spice farm that we're growing in Costa Rica right now. Sweet, yeah, man. A little yeah. passion project. Nice. I decided to move away from the restaurant business yeah. and start traveling, cooking back country. So yeah. I started cooking like off grid, doing like um, you know, like cooking on my grill in the back country in the ice fields. Oh Actually, yeah. Hike my uh, big green egg. <laughs> seven and a half hours on the top of a, a, an ice field uh, glacier <laughs> so started doing that and then just honestly got obsessed with with just like um you know touring back country planted our own um uh, vine in the vineyard now so we, all okay. the chefs have a bottle of wine every year coming out <laughs> which is gonna be super rad sweet yeah man it's uh it's been a journey and yeah, i mean i completely. think like as you did too like moving away from the restaurant business yeah just creating something new for yourself yeah. super exciting yeah and letting your creativity just take you you know yeah all 100%. over the world and 100%. that's that's the beauty of it yes and um you know as a chef we we tend to lose some of our passion when we're stuck in in between the walls of a restaurant right it's a grind and it's a grind and you just you don't have time for your family your loved ones mm -hmm. And uh, eventually, I mean, as a chef, we have so much opportunity to do so many things. Yep. And I think, you know, we get taken away and, and we, we get sucked into that, that daily grind. Just, yep. And we forget about what's restaurant. possible as a chef. Yeah. And we're, we're, we're chefs to inspire, we're chefs to create. And if we lose that creativity, you know, what's the restaurant? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So uh, I, I think love that. there's so many ways we can we can reach out and connect and inspire, uh -huh. you know, from traveling and just bringing people right into the communities and cooking with what, you know, the communities cook with, 
learning about the true culture. Yes. You know, rather than just watching the Food Network and being in your restaurant trying to, you know, yeah. imitate what people are doing, we're, we're being hands on. We're learning from the actual, you know, yes. culture and communities around the world. And right. I think that's super important. And using everything. Like, we, there's no waste. And I love that. I seen, I noticed that with, mm -hmm. with your cooking. Like, even right now, I use the stems of the cilantro because they're so delicious. Yes. But so are. many people will throw out these stems. I know. It's, <laughs> it is easy to throw out, but then it's also easy to just incorporate into something you're cooking already. Yeah. I'll even put it right into here, you know. You yeah. Got, you get that uh, texture, right? A little texture difference, yeah. yeah. And what I mean, type of restaurant cuisine did you start? It was with? a Japanese, yeah, Japanese yeah, you restaurant. Went, dove right into that. Mm -hmm. Really taught me a lot from day one, you know. Right, right. Basic stuff too. That's amazing. Like you got to bring your own knives to the restaurant. I showed right, up. They're right. like, you have any knives? I was like, yeah, I'll bring you a knife. And <laughs> brought my, I brought a knife from Daiso. It was a two-dollar knife. I love it. And a little plastic handle. <laughs> I, love and I took it. it out. I took it out. Chef's like, yeah, you just put that away. That's hilarious. <laughs> Now look, at like, us. Yeah, yeah. Like, now look at us carrying around 40 knives. Yeah, exactly. I have, a, I have literally a check-in bag just for my knife kit. Uh, <laughs> literally. Yeah. It's my, it comes everywhere with me. Yeah, we need it, dude. I, I, I love my knives. I need it everywhere I go. If, I, That's if it. I'm going to cook, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need my knives. Absolutely, man. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. All right guys, so we got hot coals in there. We're gonna throw the whole fish on. So we're gonna prep that right now. Okay guys, we have this hog fish right here. And I believe Alex shot this one this morning. That's gonna go right on the fire. We have another fish as well, a whole fish. So we can throw on afterwards too. Look at that. Okay, there a little we go. mango salsa. Nice. <laughs> I want to introduce you guys to my friend Keith. So this is okay. Keith. He's yeah. a local legend on island. How you doing? Island. How you doing? Oh, yeah, this is good. good, good. How you doing? That's you my... Good. And my hands are off. I like that hog, man. And yeah, he yeah. does ecological tours on <laughs> island. So he introduces people to the stingrays and the sharks. But yeah, I was yeah. just telling him about you guys, and he's like, "Well, let me tell you, I can teach them all about foraging all over the Bahamas." Amazing. This is my so. office out here. This is my <laughs> office. Amazing. So let me so introduce you guys, office. and then you guys right. kind of take over. Oh, that's yeah. incredible. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Well, you just asked me any questions, or I can tell you. I, in fact, I'm going to take you over to a plant right now nice. that I you could that. use to season this food. Oh, yeah? Okay. Let me show okay. you. All right, let's do it. Right. Let's do it. Oh, this this is called sea purslane, oh, and you yeah. can take this and chew it up. You can use it as a seasoning. It's salty. You can actually eat it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And if you try it, wow. yeah, try a piece. There you go. Just chew it up. It's, it's very mm -hmm. salty. It's tasty. Mm -hmm. And you can use it in salads and soups. Fresh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Yeah. And amazing. Perfect, perfect. Oh, wow. It's kind of like thing. sea asparagus. Ah. Yep. Yeah, exactly. So oh, it's, yum. It's really good. Exactly. That little yum. bit of salt to it, and you put this in fish, or you cook it inside a fish, or if you want to make a little broth with it, this will help season it naturally yeah. without wow. any salt. Yeah, that spice looks amazing. Yeah, buddy. And then I'm going to oh, rub man. a little bit of oil in there. Yeah. Turmeric root. Basil, garlic, oh, onion. She looking pretty. And the turmeric root um, we grow ourselves in Costa Rica, along with the herbs in Canada. Mm -hmm. Amazing. It's not even grilled, it looks good already. <laughs> okay, let's get this guy on the grill. Go on with the uh, fish here. There we go. Ooh. This is the fish uh, that I cured earlier and at the boat. And now I just kind of washed it off with the, the salt water. And we're just going to slice it, get, get like sashimi slices, and we're just going to toss that right onto our watermelon salad. This here is a little bit of fish sauce, a little water, lime juice, olive oil, salt, and chili flakes. A little salad dressing. Like a little Thai style vinaigrette is what, uh, that's what I'm gonna call it. And we'll just mix that in.
We got a watermelon salad with Kier Jack. Look at this. A sunset. Oh, look at that. We're about done cooking. Uh, we just whipped up a meal on the beach. I made some potatoes on the fire with some garlic, you know, shallots, all the good stuff in there. And I also made some watermelon salad. And that's just watermelon, some arugula, a little bit of shallots. And I put and topped with some cured fish. That's gonna be delicious and nice and refreshing. Chef Mike, he cooked up, he grilled up some amazing uh, fish. There's a hogfish on there as well as a snapper. And both those fish were caught by Alex and Gavin. Everybody's contributing here. We're just waiting for the fish to finish cooking. So we'll be eating it in no time, but the sun has already set. Uh, we got the fire going though. We got some light left with the fire. Make sure you guys check out Chef Mike, amazing guy, amazing chef to cook with. I um, had a great time cooking with him. And I just want to say, Thank you so what much. What an incredible time tonight. Yeah. Everything's oh, yeah. looking delicious. What an experience here in the Bahamas. And thank you for tonight, yeah. Chef. Day what a, two. What a good day. Another day two. Awesome day. day two. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Check him out, guys. I'll leave links in the description for his Instagram. All right. Who's next? This is the one. My shins are on fire, but I don't even care because the shot is so dope. Thank you so much. That was fun. How's it, guys? Absolutely. Amazing. How does everything None taste? None of us are talking because it's so good. <laughs> yeah. Yes, thank you, chef. Thank you to the chef. I'm gonna toast you right now. Yeah. Whoever cooked this food, Taku. Yeah, cheers. You yeah, badass, like, man. Taku yeah. and Mike. Cheers, Taku. Taku and Mike. Cheers, Mike. Cheers, yeah. Alex cheers, and Gavin for providing. Ooh. Yes, everyone. Cheers. Any day. Cheers effort. Nothing like having cheers. dinner with the sharks, man. <laughs> yeah, that's, right. that's our kind of dinner. <laughs> that awesome. is our kind of dinner. <laughs>